She is Emily, a STEM whiz, and he is Max, an economic mastermind. Both participated in an entrepreneurial experience at IE University in Madrid. Five days, 69 students, 21 mentors, one mission to create an actionable business idea from concept to final pitch. Over the course of less than a week, participants are put to the test to hone their entrepreneurial skills, from idea development to presenting and prototyping a financial technology project. Welcome to the Tech Venture Bootcamp. Who will make the top three? Who will be chosen as the People's Choice winner? Who will take first place? Let's dive into the experiences of our two students. First up, project proposals. Those with the big ideas present to the group. Teams then form to expand these ideas into bulletproof business plans. It's fun. Emily quickly finds a group to work with, but Max struggles to get buy-in for his concept. I'm thinking that maybe um, it was a communication problem. I worked two years in payments consulting and I have my opinions on what could work and what couldn't work. I changed my strategy a little bit during the networking session to be more open and enthusiastic about other people's ideas. And in the end, it worked out. Finally, he joins a new group to carry out a project. There's room for everyone here. The show must go on. 15 teams form, favorite ideas are picked, and the work begins. Okay, guys, so this is basically the concept that I came up with for the front end. Day two, uh, Emily and Max work to prepare so their first pitch. The first Mentors course. are on hand to help teams find their path to success. It was a great experience because I feel like in one day we made a lot of progress. So we are building an app which is using computer vision and CNN neural networks in order to do image recognition. We also presented it in front of juries and our professors in order to get some feedback. And I hope they like the idea. It was an intense day because um, right now we just had our first checkpoint with ICLAC. So we had to present our first minimum viable product, some uh, facts about our business model, and we had to come up the, with this presentation um, very quickly. We are motivated to keep on that track tomorrow um, during the day and yeah, to refine what is still a little raw at this point, but that's also normal. The weekend goes on. Each day, our boot campers tackle activities in AI, coding, and creative thinking. As the final day looms, mentors and competitors reflect on how far they've come. We're seeing a number of really interesting ventures, uh, particularly in the consumer space. I think we're seeing more of that that are using AI, that are using uh, fintech uh, technology types of tools. We're seeing it applied to everything from uh, how to use AI to grow coffee um, more organically and, and more effectively, to uh, money transport around the world, to um, ways to improve education. In the past 12 hours, way more advancement than we did in the past two days. It was crazy the amount of work we did, and I would say we did pretty well. We got some positive and negative feedbacks to the end of the presentation, but we still have a lot of time to work on. So some details are related to the business model of the project, obviously. And uh, another point we have to improve is obviously, like I said, the time constraint. We were a bit over time at some point in the presentation and we had to rush through the rest of the slides. So we're going to have to make sure that the time and what we show basically is perfect and what we say is perfect and that basically everything's perfect. At last, the big day, each group delivers a one minute elevator pitch. The competition is fierce and the judges pick their top five. Emily and Max made the cut. Final rehearsals, deep breaths, and it's time for the final presentations. It's only 20 minutes now, I'm so excited. The judges deliberate in private. After all their hard work, Emily and Max wait anxiously for the decision. Okay, so the winners are OptiCraft. <laughs> Emily's team takes home first place. We're super happy because this was a whole journey and we did our best to put in the effort and have a ready product and yes, well we won and it is just an amazing experience and we're not going to end with TechMentor Bootcamp. We also want to bring this idea into reality and launch our startup. 
So thank you for having a great team. Max finds success too. His group receives the ripple recognition. Despite the fierce competition, everyone walks away with pride. I'm super um, proud of the outcome because um, I think both of us had great teams. We both made it to the finals. We could present in front of a great jury, in front of all the students. And regardless if we made it first place, like her team, or being mentioned by Ripple as the best financial solution, it was just a great experience. I'm glad that we both came up with startup ideas which were totally different, addressing different industries, fields, and I really loved Quaymeet's presentation as well. I would be happy to work in my team because also one of the mentors was saying that, how did you find your team? And the first thing that came to my mind was that by their smiley faces, because when you see our team, everyone is smiling, and it was a very interesting process to work with them and come up with the final product that can actually be launched. So yeah, congratulations. See you too. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Emily and Max. It's been a pleasure following you through this adventure. If you're interested in testing your entrepreneurial skills, collaborating with a diverse group of students, and enriching your academic experience, this is the perfect opportunity. Join us next time for our Tech Venture Bootcamp at IE University, where we're built to break through. Thank you.